has turned it on at the new stadium. Just the second one day to be played at this beautiful venue. South Africa won the toss. Fuff, what are you going to do? We're going to have a bowl. Not sure how it's going to go today. I think everyone is not sure how this Australian team, they've got to get off to a good start. The batting's been an issue. There it is. Edged, and that is the end of head. Stain gets the early wicket. Edge beautifully caught. Now short's gone. Australia lose their second. That's the skipper with a safe pair of hands. Two for four. It's too high. South Africans like it. Mark Wall thinks it's high. The umpire doesn't. Let's have a look. So I just can't believe that. On this pitch, unless it's very, very full, well, it's just missing, but... No. You, you get a review. Oh. Oh. Thin edge through to the keeper, is it? Back of a length delivery. Maybe a bit full to play that shot from Chris Lynn. Definitely carried, carried easily. Yeah. Nicely played. <laughs> bit fuller and left, and he was able to capitalise on that. Glenn Maxwell. Oh. Right on the thumb Come of that right. bottom hand. As that is hit. No, it's down as it's taken it. My decision is out. Repeat, out. Turn. Glenn Maxwell isn't happy with the decision. Mm. Oh. Out. Another one goes. And Stoinis has played carelessly, technically poorly, and gone. And Carey goes to the vacant region. It's a shot he loves to hit. Oh, it's tight. Miller picks up and hits. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, he's in big trouble here. Oh, he's gone. He was slow off the mark, wasn't he? Australia reeling, 7 for 89. A oh, design to a selection criteria. That's a great shot. Shot. And the gap there. Creativity from Carey. Gets the reward. I said 150. Oh, trouble and the celebrations begin. Alain Dar confirms. Maybe overdoing it. Field set for this type of batting. It's been, it's been smashed. Straight over mid off. A bit of power from Nathan Coulton Isle. Oh no, has he? Oh, it's over. It's absolutely smashed this Coulton Isle. Hit flat hard. Great timing. Yep. Yeah, that'll be four. Ah! Oh, how close is this? It's yeah. given. Just clarification that it did pitch in line, so Mitch Stark, the latest to go. Nine wickets down for 140. Oh, it's gone high, straight up in the air. Should be taken. And is comfortably by Clarkson. And Australia are all out for 152. That's a lovely stroke. Oh, well, that's beautiful. Tell you what, the cock looks in quite good touch. It does. <laughs> beautiful batting. That's gone away for four outfield. Not that quick. Oh, that's a beautiful pick up. He's erred to the leg side. There's Hazelwood. Oh, what a shot from Hendricks. Boy, 100 on debut for him in Sri Lanka. He's come out here and he's looking positive. Oh. Oh. Ouch. Oh, that's a uh, little length and uh, bounced off the pitch. Like a spitting cobra. Moving. Oh, shot. It's just about the shot of the day. Mm. Oh. Well, that's been launched oh. high, but someone's interested at mid off. Yes, Josh Hazelwood with the catch. And finally, Australia have a wicket. Oh, that's a glorious drive from Markram. Save your legs. Another boundary. And the pain continues for the Aussies. Catch should be taken and is. Stoinis gets the wicket, then takes the catch, and a good innings by Hendrick comes to an end. The game, so cricket would take over. You see that tucked away leg side again. Good timing from Markram. I think that will be another boundary to South Africa. Continues. Oh, he's chopped it on, he's dragged it on. He was so disappointed with himself. It's too required. <laughs> Big Nick taken at first. Finch, the captain. And it's three for Stoinis. I think that's game over. Too easy for David Miller there. And he'll be probably the most relieved man at this field at the moment. Took one 
ball to get the two runs. And there's applause, warm applause around for the South Africans. A <laughs> big breath of relief there from Miller. Duplessis will be very happy that his team has managed to put in such a dominant performance. Winning by six wickets in an outstanding way.